Hey guys and welcome to the latest video from the Leeds studio. My name is Paul and I'm the practitioner at the Fibre Guy Leeds. And today I'm here to share with you an update from one of our online clients from the USA in Colorado. Now over the course of the last few months, Kit has made excellent progress in her recovery journey and she's doing things that she never thought possible. Now to give you guys kind of an insight how we work online, I've decided to share Kit's story and her progress so far. Enjoy guys. I was just looking out the window and I, I just realized, you know, I was laying in that bed in so much pain. How's things? You look very vibrant. You look nice and bright and sparkly. Do I? I actually, uh, I've been out shoveling. Oh, and uh, something else Scott usually does. And I came in and I was just text checking my text. I can't believe I was out there for an hour and a half. It felt like half an hour. And, and, and the fact that it, it wasn't sensationalized, it's not, you know, we've got the cure, we've got the cure. Just look at the videos and decide for yourself. And told me and told me you know it's going to be hard it's going to be hard and it it was hard but actually it for the improvements it wasn't as hard that the 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 hardness of it was not congruent with the improvements you know i, I would have think for for how much how far i've come it would have been much harder than it was Can you remember in the beginning, Kit, when 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 we when we first met, uh, we kind of had a chat and I laid down, said there's key milestones that we'll meet along the way, and you kind of thought I was a little bit crazy when I said, "We'll have you jazzercising again." When you told me you like the the zumba type stuff, so we'll have you jazzercising again. I was like, "You'll enjoy walking. You'll be able to take the dog out, go see your daughters." And you thought I was, you thought, "Who's this crazy British guy?" What do you think now? <laughs> I still think you're crazy, but uh, I, I, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> and, now, and, you know, one of the goals, you asked me what, what my goals were, and it was to get out of the pain, I think, to be able to do dance aerobics again, which you signed up for to help me. And, you know, that I, I would like to even maybe go on a hike at some point you know, a nice long overnight hike and, and to maybe be able to work again, you know? Um, and I, I'm already looking at hikes to sign up for and, and I'm definitely, I mean, I'm walking twice a day now. Sheets hurt. And I've even had it before where the sheets hurt, but nothing like this where it was excruciating. I had to have the sheets on to keep me warm but they hurt so bad. And, and I never thought that I could pull out of that. And, that, and my doctor told me I'd be drugged forever to get me down to 50%. You had me at 50% within a couple of weeks of where I was. So just thinking that I just, sometimes I am even, I, I don't want to forget and sometimes I already have, you know, sometimes I'm out there shoveling and I'm thinking, you know, and I, I want to make sure that my wrists don't hurt. And, and then I'm thinking, I, I should just be so grateful. It's amazing that I was able to shovel for an hour and a half. I don't want to ever forget how far I've come. How have you found kind of work? like online with us kit obviously we're not in person you're like halfway across the world but how's it been compared to what you thought it would be so if it was in person yeah you know um i was so grateful that you were even willing to do that mm. because i knew i could never have afforded to fly there and yeah. fly and have a place to stay while i was there so and in I had been looking a long time for how I could help myself because I already knew the doctors weren't going to be able to help. They already pretty much 
told me. And, and so I was so grateful that you were willing to do it. And I, again, I trusted that you knew that how you were going to do it. I didn't know how it would work. And I was a little, I wasn't sure that I would be able to set the computer up right, that you could see me, that I would, you know, be able to log on. Um, you know, I wasn't quite confident in my technology um, ability, but, and I was having computer problems at the time. I mean, when we first started, I couldn't push buttons on my phone. So I didn't know how I was going to be able to do whatever you needed me to do. Um, luckily, the only thing that I could do is once I was out of bed, I could stand without without pain, which in the past, I, I have, there's been times where it was excruciating to stand. Luckily, this time, I at least could do that. And um, I, I think it's worked out unbelievably well. Uh, I, I mean, the only thing that would be better would be an in-person, but really because of COVID, again, I'm grateful that we could still, we didn't have to wait for COVID and quarantine to be over. And Honestly, it's nice that I have to get up, get dressed, do the car ride, because, you know, that was painful for me. Car ride there, a car ride back, you know, in a, in a way, it, it was better. You know, I mean, nothing's better than in person for the social part of, our, of us. But honestly, I don't think I, I missed anything by, by us having to do it this way. I can't wait to see if I can see you if you come to the States, whether it's here or in LA or something. Would just love to hug you guys. Oh. Amazing that really pretty much I can do everything. I can, there's nothing anymore holding me back from, from living the way I want. Honestly, I never thought at my age and and I've always been so physically active that I would have ever had to have needed people to help me. Kind of makes me sad still, but I'm I'm a part of something that not very many people have been able to have a, be a part of. You know, it, it is unbelievably amazing. And, and I don't even know that I can explain it to other people, you know, who, who, who haven't gone through it or, or who, who need to. I mean, you know, people who are, are searching, you know, who have the same thing, then they, want, they would want so bad to believe it's true. That's how I was, too. Like, wow, maybe they really could help me, too, you know. Yeah. What would your advice be for them kind of people, Kit, who sort of lurk and look and need help but yeah. yeah yeah you know so many people <clears throat> on their their testimonies said things like what have you got to lose and and why not just try it um but they're you know like you guys say it's a it, it is it is hard work and it it takes a lot of time you know for me it it, it took pretty much all my mental um energy too you know, not just during our sessions, but for till I saw you again, everything was concentrating on getting better, doing what you have told me, learning what you've taught me. And, and, and so even saying beyond what have you got to lose? Because I think it's a big step in courage because what you have to lose is hope. You know, I think most people realize that you are the last, the last chance, you know, they've already been looking for years. Most people have already been told so many times that there's nothing that can be done. And so it's that you, what you have to lose is your hope in getting better your hope and having your life changed. And that's huge. You know, if you, if you trust, if, if you, you willing to have the courage to trust you guys, that's a lot, you know? 
because you have a lot to lose if it doesn't work. And, and for me, I would say, uh, what I would say for people is just keep watching the videos and read the book, look at the website. You can't not believe it if you see enough. Even if you're not like me, I'm a scientist. I love science. And I love the research and I love learning what you guys had to say about that. But not everybody's that way. Some people are just like, okay, if I do this, then I'm going to get this. But they're still not sure. They don't need the science, but they, the testimonies would, would show them, you know, everyday people getting their lives back. So as you can see from Kit's experience, recovery isn't all glitz and glamour. It really requires both physical and mental hard work. Uh, but Kit now has a life back. Uh, she's off pain meds. Uh, she walks, cycles, jazzercises and shovels snow. But more than that, I now see Kit as my friend. Uh, we keep in touch. We share our wins together. And for me, that's what being a fibro guy is all about. So well done, Kit. I am super proud of you, you know that, and I hope you're enjoying your new lifestyle. Uh, for the rest of you guys, if you are interested in working with us or more, intre uh, more, more info on how we work, please visit www.fibroguy.com. Take care, guys. See you in the next video.